Okay, so welcome back. We're continuing on with this double black diamond, this awesome arrow shape. I realized for a second that I was doing this wrong, and rather than giving you the wrong answer, I wanted to pause, check my math, and make sure I was doing it right before I instructed you all to do it wrong. So even though we figured out that this part of our line is actually six and eight tenths inches, we don't need that. And that's because if you think about it, and I'm gonna draw this on my smaller whiteboard. So just like we had area, so think about our triangle, right? When we were finding area, we just kind of added the second half of our triangle and that made it into a square. So then we could multiply length times width to find the area of the square and divide by two to get the rectangle. The same is true, but our triangle is like this way, right? And this time we have a piece coming off of it like this. So instead, this is really what our rectangular prism looks like. Now, so if we're, if we're looking at it this way, like our rectangular prism up there, this side right here is 6.8, okay? This side right here is still 8.5, okay? And because I have my little hashes here, I know that this is an isosceles triangle or a triangle with two equivalent sides. And I know that this is a right triangle because my little square is indicated there. So tricky part, I actually don't need this 6.8. It was a good review of how to find that length if we ever needed it, but we don't for this particular exercise because this line isn't really giving me any new information about my triangle, right? If I were to multiply the length and width and height of this, I would multiply 8.5, which is this length, times 8.5, which is this length. And if I remember correctly, now back to when I made this worksheet, I put that in there on purpose to try to trick my students, and then I ended up tricking myself. So bad Mrs. Benavides. So now I'm going to multiply 8.5 times 8.5 to get... You have to kind of imagine the rectangular prism is coming off like this, right? So this is my whole rectangle that I'm calculating right now. So I'm going to multiply 8.5 times 8.5. And so the first thing we're going to do is ignore the decimals. We're just going to multiply it like regular. Feel free to sing along with me and solve on your spare sheet of paper. So you multiply the ones. 5 times 5 is 25. Write it down. Carry it up. Then you move it, move it on over. Then you multiply the tens. Add. So here we have 8 times 5. Let's do it together as a review. 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48. Oh, sorry, 40. 40, 40, 40, 40, because it's 8 times 5. Plus 2 is 42. So write it down. Carry it up. Then everybody add a 0. Multiply the 1s. 8 times 5, we just calculated it as 40. Write it down. Carry it up. Then we move it, move it on over. Then we multiply the tens. Add. I ate and I ate and I got sick on the floor. 8 times 8 is 64. 64 plus 4 is 68. So 5 plus, now we're going to add those two together. So 5 plus 0 is 5. 2 plus 0 is 2. 4 plus 8 is 12. Carry the 1. So 6 plus 1 is 7. So my answer here is 7225. But wait, there's more. I need to count up. I'm going to do it on here so it's easy to see. How many decimals were in my question? So I have one decimal in my question, two decimals in my question. So now I'm going to take that and I'm going to go one, two. So you should have gotten an answer of 72 and 25 hundredths. 72 and 25 hundredths. So I multiply my length and my width. Now what I need to do is multiply my height. Now that might be a little weird to think about because this is a triangle on an arrow and this certainly doesn't look like the same length as this, but if you think about it, this is a right angle, this is a right angle, this is a right angle, this is still a rectangle. So the opposite sides of a rectangle are always equal. So this side right here is equal to this side right here, which is equal to this side down here. We just kind of have to know that, and the more you work with 3D shapes, the easier that becomes. So now I need to multiply 72 and 25 hundredths times 12, because that is the length across here. We're keeping it all in inches. So I'm going to set it up on my whiteboard. 
Let's do it together. Do this on a share sheet of, speed of paper or anywhere, um, just to keep practicing these basic math skills and double check with me. You can sing along with me. You can pause this video, do it yourself and check to see if you got the answer. Any of those strategies are fine. So you multiply the ones, two times five is 10. Write it down, carry it up. Then we move it, move it on over. Then you multiply the tens. Add two times two is four plus one is five. Write it down, carry it up. Then you move it, move it on over. Then you multiply the hundreds. Add two times two is four. Write it down, carry it up. Then you move it, move it on over. Then you multiply the thousands. Add seven times two is 14. There's nothing left, so everybody add a zero. We multiply the ones. Write it down, one times five is five, carry it up. Then we move it, move it on over. Then we multiply the tens. Add one times two is two. Write it down, carry it up. Then we move it, move it on over. Then we multiply the hundreds. Add two times one is two. Write it down, carry it up. Then we move it, move it on over. Then we multiply the thousands. Add, write it down, carry it up. Then we move it, move it on over. So we don't have to add a zero anymore because there's no more numbers to multiply. So now we just need to add these two together. So zero plus zero is five. I mean, zero plus zero is zero. Uh, five plus five is 10. Write down another zero, carry that one. Four plus one is five, plus two is seven. Four plus two is six, and seven plus one is eight. So now it looks like my answer is 86,700, but I need to count up my decimals. So there's two decimals in my question, so that means there's two decimals in my answer. Both of those zeros are smiley face zeros because they are not in my decimal sandwich. So my answer here is actually 867. But wait, that would be for this whole rectangular prism. I want to find just half of it because my triangle is half of my whole. So let's do this together. I'm going to do, again do this on my separate sheet of paper because let me tell you, I am not a pro at dividing backwards. That is just, especially explaining it as I'm doing it is just like one of the most impossible things I've ever attempted in my life. So besides learning Russian, like I said the other day, that is the hardest. Okay. So now let's take this number. We have 827. Somehow that looks wrong. Okay. Now I'm hoping I got that right. So we have 867 divided by two, because we're splitting it in half because a triangle is half of my total rectangular prism. So then, does the divisor fit in the dividends? First number, put it up top, then multiply, ooh, uh, then we subtract, and next number down, and start again. Does the divisor fit in the dividends? Second number, put it up top, then multiply, ooh, uh, then we subtract, and next number down, and start again. Does the divisor fit in the dividends? Third number, Put it up top, then multiply, ooh, ah, then we subtract, and next number down, and start again. So I know it's backwards for you, but you'll see I have a remainder of one. So what I need to do is do my decimal, decimal zero strategy, right? Decimal, decimal zero. So then I bring it down, and I start again. Two does go into seven, even, a 10 evenly, so that's five. Two times ten, so now I don't have a remainder. So my answer here is 433 and 5 tenths. But wait, my friends, I'm not done yet. I need to add this in with this because this was the total of my rectangular prism down here. This is my total up here. So I need to go 864 plus, now I'm really going to try to add backwards, even though I just said I wasn't going to do that. 433 and 5 tenths. 8 plus 4 is 12, <laughs> write down the 2, carry the 1, I think, is that looking right? Yeah, I know, I can't do it, it's too hard to do backwards, 864 plus 433 and 5 tenths, make sure you line it up, 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 line it up, 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 line it up, up, up at the decimal, so yeah, I was doing it backwards, 0 plus 5, Five. <laughs> 4 plus 3 is 7, 6 plus 3 is 9, 8 plus 4 is 12. I'm glad I gave up on that. Then I bring it down, uh, uh, I bring it down, bring it down. So my answer here is actually 1,297 and 5 
tenths inches. Now I know in my answer key it says uh, feet squared. I think I just wrote the units wrong. So here's your answer with, um, this should be inches squared. Cubed, 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 cubed. Remember, length times width times height cubed. All right, so that is our lesson for today. Thank you so much for joining me and for working hard through this very difficult question, and I will see you for science.